What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Antonio X. Carter here, Operation Emancipation Occupation, helping you get free from your 9 to 5 jobs. And so, here, what I'm showing you right now is my Quick Magic account, which tracks links. And what we're doing is I'm showing you how to create your Quick Magic campaigns. That way, you can track every single click, every single keyword, every single cell. S A L E, not C E L L, that goes along with your Bing ads slash Microsoft ads traffic and ClickBank products. This is important because you will know what is working and what is not working. You can eliminate all of the keywords that is not working, delete those bad boys, and then only track what is working. And so, whenever a sale happens within ClickBank, you can see that here on ClickMagic. And all of the information is made neat for you. Now, if you're interested in that type of thing, stay tuned, watch all the way to the end because it's the only way that you can see what is going on. This is probably going to be a two part video series because um, I'm doing this for the first time. Now, I use tracking links, but this is called campaigns. And I've been, I've been waiting for a perfect opportunity. This is the time. So, I'm going to be promoting one of my products here I have a five-day free challenge going on when it comes to teaching you how to make your first affiliate income your first Clickbank Commission is called Clickbank cash flow on demand and I'll be taking five days to help you make your first commission and then after you learn how to do that you know if you're past that the same tactics can be used to help you hit your first $100 per day and thousand dollar month and then hopefully your first thousand dollar day very very possible i got some prizes i'm giving away microphone a tv some gift cards you know this is free to you i'm not charging you anything in order to uh, join this challenge now i'm going to be running traffic to my own campaign i've never done this before my own stuff not affiliate products if you look at my other videos you'll notice that i run traffic to other um, affiliate products so first thing that I'm gonna do uh, let me go back here by the way I use click funnels in order to build my pages so if you're interested in using this type of software and walking along with me I highly recommend this platform um, links down below in the, under the description in the description under the video so one of the first things we need to do is open up the page. This can be an affiliate marketing page or the product that you're promoting or whatever it is that you're promoting. Uh, actually, I take that back. I'm sorry. In this case, it would have to be a landing page that you created, not the affiliate product, unless the owner of the product allows you to put these type of links within their pages. But in your case nine times out of ten probably 9.5 times out of ten this is going to be either some type of funnel you created or uh, some type of capture page or landing page that the user will click on the link in order to go to the affiliate product then we're going to come back over here to click magic now in order to create the campaign and for it to be super successful, if you really don't understand the difference between it, you can see the screenshot here. It's actually a video. You can see how all the information is in one place here. Okay, the CPC cost per click, the actions, which is the conversions, um, their visitors, total amount of visitors. All this will be broken down. But this can't happen if you have yet to go through my video that connects ClickBank with ClickMagic. You have to use that video. It's very short, uh, it's, it's pretty quick. If you have not created the connection between ClickBank and ClickMagic, whenever there is a sale within ClickBank, ClickMagic does not know what happened unless ClickBank tells it to do so. So if you haven't done that, you can't do this step. Um, Go back, watch my video of how to connect ClickBank to ClickMagic whenever a sale occurs. All right. Now, 
I shot that rabbit. Now, step one, add code. You're going to go ahead and click that link. And the first thing we need to do is put this, this tracking code on our landing page. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to the clipboard there. Or you could use your mouse and copy all that the manual way. You highlight it, right click it, hit copy, or hit control C, whatever. And then we're going to go back to ClickFunnels in this case. Uh, some of you use some other type of platform, whether it's high level or drop funnels or uh, builder off. I'm going to edit page. So we're going to go here and go to our header. And within ClickFunnels, I can select my header code or my footer code. We want to be in the header information. And so I already have my script here, but I'm just going ahead. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. I'm going to paste it again. And that's okay because I can do that. So you paste that in there. Boom. That's it. You hit save. I love it. I like to make it a practice whenever I make a change on my stuff. I love to save because sometimes, you know, a computer is a computer. It can erase your stuff. And then the next step, step two, within the same page, you want to hit that drop down menu and you want to do conversion tracking code. I like to make my conversions as an action. Some people like to do an engagement. Whatever you want it to be, that's how it's going to be displayed in your information. You need to know which one you select. That means a conversion for you. I like action. Uh, ref, you can put anything there, but I'm not going to go over that right now. So we're going to copy. We're going to go back. To our page because I'm asking for a name email address and once they submit that information over I'm sending them over to this page now this page is going to change if you're watching me create this video this page is going to change with something else but either way since the conversion occurred I want to notate that I need to know how many people clicked on my actual page and then convert it over and the extra snippet of code that was that we just copied is now pasted here. Now I will be able to track all the individuals that has come over to my page. Then we're going to get out of here and it says step two, build a URL, use the URL builder to add UTM tags, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So we're going to hit URL Builder. And here I need to get the website that I am promoting. So for whatever software you got, you just get the website. And you paste it here. Boom. So UTM source. For me, this is going to be, we're going to just say Bing Ads, which is now called Microsoft Ads. Uh, medium, we're going to call this, uh, I want to call it paid traffic, but why not? And then the name. We're going to call this five day free challenge. And then here I'm able to track certain tokens. Okay. So if you've watched any of my previous videos with Bing ads, you know about tokens, I can track the keyword. I can track the ad of when, what, what happens is on Bing, I need to be able to track the words somebody types in Bing in order for my ad to come up. 
Okay, um, I'm going to use Click Magic to tell me what keyword they typed in so I can see the traffic for myself and see what keywords are working better. So in this case, I'm going to stick with keyword. I'm not going for ad group. I'm not going for none of that other stuff. And then for UTM content, I'm going to leave that blank because I don't want to put anything in there. And then I'm going to hit save and copy URL. Here's everything there. And what I will do then is I will go back over to Microsoft. Give me a second, let me log in. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to campaign because I want to create a campaign. I wanna do visits to my website, select search ads. And I'm not going to go through this whole process with you guys. Like I said, maybe this can be a two part video because um, I'm, I'm literally setting this up so I can run some campaigns uh, within Click Magic so I can see the information myself since I typically do this through tracking links uh, through Click Magic. By the way, get your free 14 day free trial with Click Magic down below. Um, I don't get paid a cent for telling you to do that, but if you use my link, um, and you guys decide to go beyond the free trial and use the paid version, which is very cheap. Uh, you should make your money back very quickly if you do the things that I teach you with Bing Ads and ClickBank. Um, I do get a kickback from that. So uh, if you do that, I greatly appreciate that. By the way, if you're liking what I'm teaching you, please hit the subscribe button under the video. Hit the bell icon so that you could be notified after you subscribe. And uh, anytime I load up a new video, you'll be you'll be notified. Also, drop me some comments down below. Below, let me know if you guys are getting this. Say hashtag I understand. You know, I know that's kind of corny, but that's okay. All right, five day free challenge. And just to begin, um, we do ten bucks a day. I'm tempted to just throw $100 at it just to see how it works. But like I told you, my page, my funnel is not completely done. As a matter of fact, let me change for that reason. Let me change this to $5. I just need to verify that everything is working well. So we're going to go here. I only want to target people in the United States for right now because I want people across the world for my challenge. This is going to be exciting. I'll probably create different campaigns for different countries. It's a little hack there. Uh, people in your targeted locations. I want people who speak English. I only speak English. Well, hablo en español. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Not enough in order to be doing tutorials all right so add group name to do being ads anybody who's willing to do being ads and click bank I'm gonna say learn how to make click bank commissions and here I'm just going to type ClickBank Commissions as my first keyword. And then I'm going to hit save and go to. Again, I'm not going into all the details as to what I'm doing here with creating the ad the campaign. If you want to learn how to do all this stuff, I created an hour long video that teaches you how to create a profitable campaign with Bing ads. A profitable campaign okay so we're gonna hit expand the text now this is where everything makes the biggest difference and then I'm gonna end the video from here so again if you've watched any of my other videos 
I typically give you, I tell you to use the URL all the way down here inside the tracking template because you would put your tracking link in there from Clickmagic and up here in the final URL, you generally would put the link of the actual sales page of the product that you're selling. But campaigns has changed the game. So once you put that in there, you're supposed to be able to hit save and type in some type of test headline hello how are you yes I know I spelled hello wrong but I did that on purpose and I'll just hit save right what am I missing test description do I have to do description number two okay and there we go there all right so I'm not going to save this campaign for it to run after I hit save and next I can make some more changes when it comes to the demographic I'm targeting uh, different at distributions different networks and stuff I'm not getting into that in this video but this is the basics once I hit save next step I go to the next page and do it one more time my ad should be up and running and then I should be able to see the information on my campaigns page I'll be able to see all of the clicks and stuff and I'll be a happy young man instead of going here to links and clicking on all of this nonsense because essentially it's kind of the same thing but I have to literally click on this stuff and then you know I, I just it's it's so much easier if I click the campaigns and all of that information was right here. I can see my graph, I can see my cells, I can see all that stuff. And um, I can also track cells within that conversion pixel. I just have to put a value in there. I'm not gonna go back and show you guys, but when I was able to track uh, my clicks and my conversions, which are called actions and engagements, there was a third option called cells. Once I select that, it's going to ask me for what value it is. What's the value of the cell? I would put the value of however much that person costs if somebody was to buy my product or whatever it was. And I would copy that code and put it on the page after they've purchased. So you may have a shopping cart and then another thank you page that says, hey, thank you for purchasing this product that's the page you would paste that code on so hopefully this all made sense guys i 15 20 minutes seems to be my magic number <laughs> i try to make these things 10 minutes but it just it's the teacher in me it's the teacher in me but if you guys got any questions let me know drop them down in the comments down below i'm, I'm free to answer everything i'm not the guru but i can teach you what i know and uh i know a lot of stuff i can tell you that much i can get some pretty solid results because and I've done it myself and I want to help you do that as well. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I got two months left, guys. We'll talk to you later. Go ahead and check out that five-day free training that I got down in the description as well. And if you want to make $3,500 a week doing this stuff, the link for that is down below as well. See you later.